Each example, a marketing manager of a department store has determined that revenue is related to the number of units of television advertising X and the number of units of newspaper advertising Y by the function R of XY equals 500 times 20X plus 5Y plus 20 times XY minus X squared. Each unit of television advertising costs 5,000 and each unit of Newspaper advertising costs 2500 In part A and part B, we are going to find the marginal profit with respect to X and with respect to Y, respectively. The problem given the R of XY and information to find the cost and ask us to find the marginal profit, profit represented by the P. That means in part A, we are going to find the partial derivative of the P with respect to X and part B, we're going to find the partial derivative of the P with respect to Y. We do not have the function P yet. As we recall, the P or the profit equals the revenue minus the cost. The revenue is given where the cost is not directly given yet, but with the information, the cost with depends on both X and Y um, cost $5,000 for each unit of television advertising. So it's going to be 5,000 times X. And each unit of newspaper advertising costs 2,500. That means 2,500 multiplied by Y. Then we can form the function P or the profit function by the revenue minus the cost. The revenue is 500 times 20X plus 5Y plus 20 times XY minus x squared and then subtracted by the cost function which is 5000 times x plus 2500 times y you can simplify or go ahead with the partial derivative but i would like to simplify first to make it uh, less complicated when you find the partial derivative of each like with respect to x and with respect to y so 500 times 20 x becomes 10,000, 20 plus zero, and then X, and plus five times five, that 2,500 times Y, plus five times two, that 10, and then three more zero, XY, and then minus 500 times X squared, subtracted by 5,000 times X minus 2,500 times Y, and then simplify it. For the light terms that contain x, we have x here, 10,000 and 5,000 of the x that simplify to be 5,000 x. For the y term, I'm going to use different color. So 2,500 y minus 2,500 y, they cancel each other out, so it's gone. And then collect the rest of the term, the plus 10,000 times xy minus 500 times x squared as the simplified profit function in terms of x and y. So in part A, we have partial derivative of the profit with respect to x or the marginal profit with respect to x equals the partial derivative with respect to x of the function 5,000x plus 10,000x times y minus 500 times x squared. When you find the partial derivative with respect to x, we're going to treat the x as the variable. And the rest is going to be treated as a constant term. So for the first term, 5,000 as a constant multiple multiplied by x is 5,000 times one, which is the derivative of the x. And the second term, similar thing, we, we, we treat 10,000 and y as a constant multiple. So 10,000 y as a derivative of the second term. And the last term, we use the constant multiple rule and the power rule becomes a negative 500 times two, which is one, um, 1,000 uh, 1, times x. And then part B, we find the partial derivative with respect to y 
this time we're gonna treat y as a variable and the rest gonna be the constant term. Y is right here. That tells us the first term will be treated as a constant, the derivative gonna be zero. Second term, we treat 10,000 and x as a constant multiplied by y. So the derivative is going to be 10,000 times x. And then the last term is considered a constant term because no y represented there. So minus 0. Then we just simplify to be 10,000 x as the partial derivative of the p with respect to y or the marginal profit with respect to y. 